Hi guys, today we're going to read Not Quite Snow White, written by Ashley Finken, illustrated by Ambling Glenn. Not Quite Snow White. For Tamika, it was always the right time and place to dance and sing. To make them have a hip roll happy dance, a soulful sad dance, a stomping mad dance, and a hair flip just because she felt fabulous dance. She sang up with the twinkle birds and blow with the croaking frogs. She always shared her love and of music and movement with an attitude. Tamika loved the strange. It was her perfect place. She was the star of every show and she loved every show that she started in. She had been a cucumber, a space cowboy, a dinosaur, and her favorite part a sing mermaid. On stage, Tomika felt like she could be anything or anyone she wanted to be, but she had never been a princess. Now she would finally have a ch her chance. Tomika was so excited that she went to the both days of attitude for the for the Snow White musical on the first day, she arrived super early. She helped friends with their line, kept account for their dancer, and shook butterflies from nervous to me so songs couldn't be sung. After the attitude, Tamika heard some of the kids whispering, she couldn't be Snow White. She's too tall, she's much chubby, and she is too brown. Tamika looked at her legs. They were long. Maybe the kids were right. A princess shouldn't be taller than her prince, should she? She looked at her belly. Maybe what the kid said was true. She could not remember any chubby princess. Tamika looked at at this, her skin, she was brown. How could a girl with brown skin play a princess like Snow White? Could those be, kids be wrong? Maybe she was wrong for a way wanted to be this princess. Tamika shocked and tucked in her belly. She tried pulling down her sleeves but there was no getting around being brown. For the first time, she didn't feel like dancing or singing. At dinner, Tomiko stopped, ta didn't tap her feet or clang with them with her spoon. Is something wrong? asked her mom. The other kids said, I'm too tall, I'm too chubby and too brown. I'm not right for Snow White, said Tamika. You got it all wrong, Mom said. You are tall enough, chubby enough, and brown enough to be a perfect princess. Besides, said her dad, Snow White is just pretend you've always been my real princess. You're just enough of all the right stuff. He kissed her forehead, Tamika smiled, and maybe her parents were on this were on to something. The attitude the, at the attitude the next day, Tamika watched all the kids other kids get on stage and do their best. It was Tamika's turn at last. She remembered what her parents had said, but her legs, long legs, were still a little jealous. 
She closed her eyes and imagined she was singing and dancing for her favorite attitude of friends. She remembered the joy she felt when performing. Tamika knew she could do it. Tamika was a perfect potent princess. When her attitude was over, Tamika looked out to smile face. Tamika wasn't too much of anything. Maybe she was just enough of all the right stuff. The end. I hope you enjoyed the story, guys. Make sure to give a thumbs up if you like it, guys. Bye.